Hi, it's me, Alessa. I'm writing a dissertation on Irish folklore, so I was going to visit the No Leprechaun Museum in Dublin. Wanna come with me? Great. I'll order two tickets to Dublin then. See you at the airport. This is an actual leprechaun pot. The legends say your wish will come true if you throw a leprechaun's coin into it. Oh no, where's my coin? Wait, I gave you one too, right? Come on, let's see if this works. I guess it's just a legend after all. All I wanted was to visit the land of leprechauns. I guess I was just being naive. Huh? What the- HELP! I've got good news. You know me, ever since I was little, I loved leprechauns more than anything, even pretty dolls. As I grew, my obsession increased, and I even earned my PhD in Irish mythology. I thought I knew everything about them. I gathered four-leaf clovers, sewed a leprechaun top hat, and even bought a couple of genuine leprechaun coins. When I heard about a leprechaun museum opening in Ireland, I immediately packed my bag. You want to come with? I'll buy two tickets to Dublin. Imagine just seven hours on the plane, and then we'll finally see where the rainbow ends. Looking forward to your reply. Love, Alessa.
Stay right where you are. No humans allowed. What do you want, human? I'm warning you, I won't go down without a fight. Ah! Wait, you're dressed just like that other human. But I doubt Chloricorn is friends with a human of all things. You're gonna have to prove you don't mean us harm. Release me from this plant, and I'll help you find that other human. Thank you. I'm Wilhelm, captain of the Leprechaun Guard at your service. I saw your friend leaving Cluricorn's house over there. Who's Cluricorn, you say? He's the one who trespassed into a dragon's den to steal its gold. Because of him, that dragon, Turlow, attacked our village. See, Cluricorn is obsessed with gold, and he won't rest till he has all of Turlow's riches. And if we don't stop that fool, Turlow will destroy us all! Here, take this. It'll help you find your friend. Oh, I'm going to tend to these wounds.
You fell right into my trap. With your energy, I can finally open a portal to the edge of the world. Oh? It seems we have a visitor. You're too late. Your friend is mine. Thanks for the map to the edge of the world, Cedric, old boy. And just to make sure you don't follow me. Please, help.
Thank you for saving me. I'm Cedric the Elder. Glurakon stole my map to the edge of the world. I fear he plans to enter the world of wizards and steal Merlin's sword. He needs it to tame Turlo, but only a powerful wizard can wield Merlin's sword. He's only going to enrage Turlo, and then we shall pay with our lives. Please, you must stop him. My hang glider could take you to the edge of the world, but you'll have to repair it first. Here, you can use some luck. I'm a little home stuffed full, but I have no door. We eight march forward, protecting our king. I run around all day, but then I lie under a bed with my tongue hanging out.
here we are, at the edge of the world. With your energy, the world of wizards is within my reach. Once I open the portal, I'll be one step closer to Turlo's Horde. That's the Goblet of Fate. You have performed the ritual to become one of us, Keepers of the Rainbow Bridge. We once swore to protect this place from all intruders. Will you also swear to guard this place from harm? Well met, Keeper. From now on, your deeds will affect history. Protect this place with your life. We grant you this gift.
think you can stand against my magic? Now, to the world of wizards, with Merlin's sword in hand, the dragon will bow to me, and you take care of your friend, if you still can. Hurry, don't let Glurikon get away. Don't worry, I'll tend to your friend. Now go. Greetings, Merlin. I've come with a gift from the world of leprechauns. Thank you, Cluricon. I'm glad to see that you've turned over a new leaf. Ah! Oh. Ha! You've become so feeble that even your worst pupil can trick you. Now! You can't stop me from stealing your sword! I'm Merlin, professor of levitation and head of the Wizard Academy. That snake bit me, and its poison is draining my magic and life force. Please, find an antidote, and together we'll stop Cluricon. <laughs>
I took four magic vows to become a wizard, but I've since forgotten them. Please help me remember. Give me food and I will live. Give me water and I will die. What am I? I can be sparkling, but I'm not a star. I can run, but I don't have any legs. I can fall, but I don't get hurt. What am I? I stay where I am, even when I go off. What am I? My mood will decide what you should wear. What am I? Thank you. I can't believe Clurakan deceived me. I taught him magic, but he didn't do well in his studies. He was too preoccupied with gold. Now he wants to steal my sword to tame Turlo. He'll be unstoppable. Please find my sword before Clurakon does. It's in the levitation classroom. Here, this will help you. I'll call an emergency meeting to ask the other professors for help.
What luck that I've met you here. You'll open a portal to the Woods of Fawns, or everyone in the Academy will suffer. I'll do as you say. Just don't hurt anyone. Oh, you followed me to the Wizard World? Bravo. I may be a bad student, but I remember some spells. Behold!
Thanks for bringing me to the Woods of Fawns. But I'm afraid you're no longer needed. <laughs> I'll find the flying key, and then I'll get directly to Turlo. All of his riches will be mine! <laughs> Help! I can't swim! Please! I can help you get to the Valley of Flying Keys! That's where he's headed! Thank you. My name is Gadul. Cluricorn is one step closer to Turlo's treasury. Long ago, fauns and wizards decided to lock the portal to the dragon world because leprechauns would disturb them. Many gold hunters tried to get the key, so my parents created similar keys that can fly. If Cluricorn knows which key to capture, and how to do it, he'll be able to reach Dragon World. Please, stop him! Help yourself to anything in my home that may help.
Silly key won't try to escape now. You again? I'm tired of you tailing me. Let's see how you handle my little friends from the wizard school.
Hello, stranger. Visitors are rare in the world of dragons. My name is Meredith, the guide. There's a leprechaun that wanted to look at Turlo's treasury, but I fear he has bad intentions. Oh, I can't wait to tame Turlo and explore his treasury! <laughs> Thank you. I've spent my whole life here going from valley to valley, gathering stories of the dragons. I keep my knowledge in this sphere. Centuries ago, ancient dragons fought each other for riches and treasure. But Turlo was too lazy to battle, so he nestled on top of the highest mountain with his gold. All the dragons killed each other, and only Turlo remained. His mere existence maintains this world. When he dies, this world will sink into oblivion. That's why you must stop Cluricon. See my sister Villette in Snowtown. She'll give you something that will help you follow him. Take this too.
You want the Flaming Heart? Never! I know what you have in mind, and I won't let you harm Terlo! I've come a long way. I've tricked a human, and deceived the Great Merlin! A simple merchant can't stand in my way. I'll take it from you! Thanks. One of the dogs bit my leg. Please, help me. You saved my life. I'm Villiette. Meredith asked me to give you the Flaming Heart, but Clericon just stole it. You can take my mammoth to follow the Clericon to the mountaintop. It's fast, and its fur will keep you warm. Here, this will help you find its saddle. Humans are so stubborn, but nobody can follow me now.
you dare to trespass on Dragonland? You'll disturb Turlo's sleep, you fool. I'm impressed you've come this far. Good luck getting any farther without the map. You'll be lost here forever! <laughs>
afford to protect her low slumber decades ago. I suggest you leave while you still can. You protect a pathetic lizard who slipped through the final battle? He can't be even called a dragon! I'll tame him with Merlin's sword to be my loyal servant. His riches shall be mine! Please find my cane. Cluricon weakened me and I can't stand on my own. Thank you. I'm Pythia, Turlo's guardian. Cluricon is taming the dragon in his sleep. Please wake him before it's too late. Cluricon can't tame Turlo if he's awake, but only the sound of the enchanted drums can rouse him. Take this. I pray it helps. There's a place where the sun doesn't shine and a bird doesn't fly. Travelers led here by a compass tiptoe past. This was the dragon's lair. One day, a shepherd boy in a hay hat fell asleep among the rye and didn't notice one of his sheep wandering toward the lair. The shepherd followed the sheep's traces, expecting to find only death. So, he played the flute to stay calm. His music lulled the dragon to sleep, and the news spread across the valley faster than a burning match. Only a loud drum 
could wake it up again. Thank you for protecting my free will from that greedy leprechaun. Take this as a token of my gratitude. Look at this, and think about somebody dear to you, and they will appear. What an adventure! Let's hurry back. I can't wait to start my new dissertation on leprechauns and dragons. <laughs> <laughs> 